Today is Saturday, <clears throat> January 14th, 2023. <clears throat> I'm Jason Shapiro with CrowdedMarketReport.com. Today, I wanted to speak about this um, coming recession that everybody is uh, so convinced that we are about to have. And I think that the, I have a lot to say about this, but uh, let's see if I can get it in some kind of order. Um, I think that the main reason people are calling for recession is that the yield curve uh, has become very inverted and has stayed very inverted and therefore that's discounting recession. I don't know the exact numbers but I, I think what people like to say is uh, the yield curve has forecasted 10 of the last five recessions which is a nice way of saying the yield curve ain't always right and you know I looked at it even when the yield curve is right the average time it takes between the yield curve ending that and the recession actually coming is about 18 months. Now I'm not a huge believer in that because every cycle is different. An average number, you know, uh, means nothing. Just because it's average doesn't mean it can't be three months. Does can't be. You know, we're also discounting in the times where it was inverted and there was never a recession. Um, so I'm not a huge believer in that. But just something to keep in mind if what you're using as your recession indicator is the yield curve, it's inconsistent. Uh, yes, when a recession comes, the yield curve is inverted, but no, when every time the yield curve is inverted, it doesn't mean a recession comes. So that's first, all right? The second thing I'd like to say is, if everybody is calling for a recession, which is what they are, as a contrarian, clearly, my ears pop up because I have made some pretty good calls in the past, both in markets and on the economy, and I'm no economist just going against this mass consensus. And why is that? Is it because everyone is wrong all the time and are idiots? No, it's because it's a reflexive process. If everybody is expecting recession, then they will, in turn, prepare for that. And if they prepared for it, then it doesn't come. If everybody was over-invested, okay, that's when you have a recession because they're already all in on everything and then there's nothing more to go in and then you have the recession. Today, I would argue, People are massively underinvested. Equity investors, massively underinvested. You can look at the stats on mutual funds, on hedge funds, and even on individual accounts. Okay, I have a good friend who works as a wealth manager at one of the large wealth management firms. I asked him what his clients are doing. He said that they are all waiting for the bottom to drop out. Okay, real estate. How many people do I know that sold their houses? and are now renting and are now waiting for the real estate market to come down so that they can buy a house again. I know a lot of people. I don't know how many you know, but I bet you know them, right? And then even more importantly, I think, in the real economy, CEOs of, of large corporations, one after the other, get interviewed when their earnings calls come out and say, I hear it almost every day, we are preparing for the coming recession, although we haven't seen the signs of it yet. Okay, well, that means that they're under investing. Okay, so it, it feels to me like we're going to have to go from a point of everybody being under invested to chasing and getting back over invested, and then maybe we can have the recession. Okay, but that's a long way away from here from under invested to over invested, um, is a long way away. So you, you, you got to watch out for that. I don't think there's going to be recession anytime soon based on this stuff. Um, and just as an aside, I live in a pretty sleepy town, it's a beach town, it's a summer house town. It is now the middle of January, so it's the slowest it could possibly be, right? I'd say the population of this town is about 50% of what it is in the summertime. And this is no population center to begin with, you know. Um, we're three hours from New York City, we're two hours from Boston, okay? And I go out. And no matter where I go, be it the grocery store, be it restaurants, be it Walmart, be it Home Depot, be it anywhere, the one thing every one of these companies has in common is they all have a sign on the front door, now hiring. Every place, now hiring. And I know that's not just here, I know that's everywhere, okay? So I just question, how can you possibly have a recession when every single person who wants to have a job can have one? How is that recession? I, I don't get it, okay? And in, in, in the meantime, people always like to call things like copper. Dr. Copper is, is the greatest you know, forecaster of the economy. Well, here's a chart of Dr. Copper, okay? It's going straight up, 
all right? Here is the chart of Dr. Lumber, okay? Which has come down, by the way, from 1,350 to, you know, 320. Well, it's up 20% in the last five trading days, which doesn't even show up here. And if you look at positioning in the copper market, these are the speculators. They're caught massively short here, okay? So it would seem that lumber's going up as well, right? Copper, lumber going up. Recession? I, 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 I don't think so, right? Gold, straight up. Recession? Stock market in the meantime, which everybody wants to be short because of the recession, is sitting on this huge trend line here, which is also the 200-day moving average, and it is about to break out of that, right? while everybody is caught under invested. Again, the, the, the point I'm trying to make here is if your thesis here for investing is that there's a recession coming, A, you're in the mass consensus view here. B, the market moves are telling you that, that, that you're wrong, okay? So be very, very careful of this. And, and listen, if all this does come to play, if there's no recession, we get six, eight months down the road, there's no recession, asset markets are up, okay? Clearly the Fed's not gonna be lowering rates anytime soon or even stopping raising rates, right? So we get back to the point where it's inflationary and the Fed's gonna raise rates and that might bring asset prices down again, but we are not at that point now. Don't get ahead of yourself, all right? Let the markets run. If you wanna be short all this stuff because you think that, which is not what I'm hearing people think. Right now, people have forgotten about CPI because the CPI numbers have started to come down pretty quickly. They've forgotten about that, and now they're worried about recession, and they're worried about earnings growth, and they're worried about not earnings growth, they're worried about earnings revisions coming down and all that, and I just don't see that happening. So let it run. If you wanna trade that trade, all right, let this stuff run. Let everybody get off of that recession thing and wait until we get to the point where they've given up on that and now they're playing the growth thing and they're playing the over, they're gonna get over invested and then you can start giving to them. But we are a long way from there right now, okay? Um, so that's really what I wanted to say this week. Uh, I hope it makes sense. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Um, and we hope to see you on crowdedmarketreport.com um, and we'll talk to you again. Have a, have a good week, thanks.